Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Sevo TV. I'm Misled. With me is Later, and we are bringing you map number two between Counter Logic Gaming and Orglis. And Orglis won that in quite stunning fashion on map number one. I mean, 16 to 14, final round of regulation, came down to a battle with JDM and Doomore, where Doomore only had three HP, and JDM couldn't collect the shot. Wait a minute. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but what are we looking at here? This was CLG's map pick, right? Yeah, this was CLG's map pick, and somehow... Orglis chose to go T side first. Are they going to win this 2-0 or are they just absolutely insane? I don't what? I mean yeah. yeah, I mean this was CLG's map pick. Why not force them to play T side first? They're gonna choose to go T side first themselves. I mean it really is one of those like make or break plays, I guess. Either they look like absolute legends as they 2 0 CLG in the biggest upset ever, or they get ripped and, and look kind of like they made a bad decision, but so far so good getting that opening frag and getting their way into the A bomb site. And Doom was able to find another one. Yeah. So that's gonna give them a huge advantage as the bomb gets planted now. <clears throat> they know where Finesse is, but Finesse is able to take down two more. He was in a tough spot. Didn't really have a good choice there to try and battle that one out. So now Orglis three on three. Terex already into the bomb site. Same with the other CTs. They're working their way up. Smoke comes down. Invert has to hit that shot. Oh, Can't Invert. find it. They know where he's at. And we're going to have Finesse push right into him. Invert and Drossel. Color comes off the bomb. And he's going to get right back on it. Drossel, you got to hit it. And Drossel does. Orglis will take the pistol round away from Counter Logic Gaming from the T side, nonetheless. Yeah, really huge round for them. Cut that one pretty close there. Things got a little hairy as uh, the CLG members were working their way over towards the site, but all is well that ends well. Orglis came out with the, the round win, and, and that's all that matters. They're not wasting any time to get MP7s and Galeels on this round. We're not seeing no MAC-10s or anything like that. Not even Invert going to be saving on this round for a potential off. They realize the gift that they've been given, and they are, are, are not going to, to goof it up by buying any weak guns. But they are going to have to get past Finesse, and who is that with him? Tarek over there in the B-bomb site. Finesse ready to go with a quick pop flash. He's going to throw it right now. He could really pick up a lot of frags. They're all so blind, but not the first player that came out. One for one trade, and the B-bomb site is mostly open here. They need to find where Tarek is. Yeah, Tarek's going to be the close man. He's just trying to work his Ooh. way through the kitchen. He grabs one. Stanislaw drops down. Gets the player that was inside the bomb site. There goes Tarek. So now it's up to Hayes and Cutler, both players in the kitchen. And they're both trying to work their way out right now, but they're going against two Galils and an MP, and only Hazed is left alive now. They know where he's at. They're just going to try and spam him down as he's got that Deagle and body armor, but at this point, 1v3, bomb down, no kit. You only got that Deagle, but you do have some money invested into it. He's just going to go for the save here, but he's looking to see if he can find the head of one of these players through this kitchen window, but I don't think anybody's going in that direction, so now Orglas will go up 2-0 to zero over CLG. 2-0, to zero, where they're also saving all three, uh, well, assuming they can get away from the bomb and Haze, but they will be saving all three of the Galilas that they bought, so it only cost them two MP7s, and they got a bomb plan for their trouble, so Orglis continuing to set themselves up nicely and potentially pick up three off this initial pistol round. They're looking really solid on this on this T side of Mirage. I, I don't know, if do they have some secret Mirage strats that we just weren't ready for, that they're ready to bust out on rifle round? I certainly hope so, because... I wouldn't mind watching this crazy upset. What if it was just an absolute mistake? Somebody trolling thought they already selected CT, and they just typed in .t. And they're like, oh, we did this on purpose. Yeah, totally. Yeah, oh, we're, here. we're no. here to frag. <laughs> that would be... Uh, I, I would be absolutely shocked if that was... It. it had to have been a conscious decision. I hope. Uh, yeah, whether yeah, whether or not it was a good or bad one, I, I guess will, it remains to be seen. Oh, Doom so wow, doesn't get caught though. Invert's able to save him. They're able to work their way all the way into the A bomb site, picking up all the frags that they need. Only Hazed and Finesse are alive. Both are on the rotate. Hayes does have a Deagle, and he uh, would like to save here with that body armor. And we actually lose a player from CLG now, as Finesse will commit to the save too with a smoke grenade and a CZ. So Orglis will go up 3 to 0 over CLG, but CLG will be buying this next round for sure. Yeah, definitely haste. Oh my god, aiming right at the head of that player that he did not know he was aiming at Tarek. Gonna be rejoining the server, so that's good, at the very least. If, if one player is leaving the server, that, that's fine, but when they all uh, disconnect, then there will be some problems. But with that, Drossel picking up the final frag of the round. That's two apiece for Drake and one for Inver Drossel and Stanislaw. 3-0 is the score for Orglis going into this first rifle round, and this is it. This is the round that they need to win and prove that 
or I mean, if you're, yeah, Orgus, sorry, I, I've totally lost track of who picked what. But yeah, Orgus needs to win this round and prove that they didn't make a horrible, horrible, horrible mistake. Because if they lose here and things start to spiral, that would kind of be a bad look. But if, I mean, if they come out with, a, with the rifle round right here, make it four, quick five, it doesn't even matter what happens after that. Yeah, with five rounds in your pocket from T-Side of this map, you have to be happy with it. Haze is going to be pushed up aggressive in mid. Somehow, Stan wasn't Haze ready for that. Nuts. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know how that's possible. Drake going to be trying to find that trade out fight, but he's got to be conscious of the player in the window. Saw his head. JDM pressed up very far, and Drake is going to move up. He sees the feet, but doesn't look up, and Hazed will take him down. That's a 3K for Hazed, and this buy round is looking like it's going in favor of CLG so far. Yeah, maybe with just the way that Drake was flicking, he didn't realize he saw the head of JDM over there in the window, but we, you definitely saw his head, right? Like, it seemed like that would have just been an easy click he, i mean no no pressure jdm wasn't even looking in his direction that could have been an easy frag there tunnel vision yeah tunnel yeah just so focused on uh the, the task at hand he didn't even realize that he saw anyone Tarek to be able to get a quick frag and should be able to fall out of the window but doesn't choose to do that either way four on one invert shouldn't be able to get too far here but might get a bomb plan for his trouble which is not too terrible considering they, they didn't uh, upgrade a lot of the guns they had Fitness will find the final frag of this round, but hazed with three thanks to that push down the middle. I think the biggest problem there with the player coming out of underpass that didn't see the head of JDM, he was just so concentrated on trying to get the trade out frag on the hazed, who already got three out in mid. Or two at that point, ends up finding the third on the player that didn't see JDM. Yeah, it was Drake. Yeah, hazed is an absolute wild person for CLG so far in this series. Really the only player that's keeping them uh, afloat at times. And I am a, a little curious as to how he, not, not, I mean, I know how he did it. He shot super well, but I'm, I'm curious to like what, what led up to him getting so many of those tracks, particularly that first one onto Stanislaw, that one player bunny hopping across middle hit a really solid bunny hop was able to evade him. And then the second player just got shot right in the face. Like he didn't even know someone was that close. Yeah, that was, that was a rough look, but we're into round five now with CLG going to be up and Hayes takes another one down. That's going to be Stanislaw out of the way. So five to four advantage for CLG. And they're trying to find a pick anywhere they can. Smoke's going to keep Hazed uh, out of this at least for a little bit as Finesse gets one before being traded out. Four on three, going to be favoring CLG here. But there's still plenty of time for this round to develop, including the bomb being dropped all the way at the top of mid. So they have uh, a lot of work ahead of them, Orgless. Yeah, so with that one man advantage still will be CLG. Pop flash comes oh, out. Drake please. is still able to find the headshot onto Hayes, though. That's huge for them, evening it out and making it three on three. So now they have the advantage. All they have to do is just try and wrap this at the same site. And uh, we're going to have Drake inside the connector trying to look towards A. And we actually have his teammate up near ladder room, actually fully into the ladder room. That is actually going to be invert with the op in his hands. And they're going to try and take A. So Cutler's going to be calling for some reinforcements here. Let's see if he gets anything. He is able to take down two more. They know where the bomb's at for sure now. But Drake trades him out as JDM beats the op of invert. And uh, it's all going to be up to Drake. Jumps across. He's going to be able to get out. And we actually have another player drop from CLG. Hopefully, it's just another restart coming out. And uh, let's see. It's oh, going to be Drake. Cutler. Uh, yeah, Drake misses that one. He in a tough spot. Runs through the fire. Bunny hops his way in. And JDM all over him. That will be a second round at now for CLG. Dumor actually kind of the player to fall flat for Orglis on that round. Drake did such a good job of moving his way up. Can actually catching that frag on to Hayes, keeping the attention of Cutler in the sight, but he just wasn't enough for Dumor to to find out where Cutler was. And I think if they were able to remove Cutler from the round and then work their way through the site, I think that round would have looked completely different. But Cutler got that initial frag on to Dumor. Uh, I think he got traded out by Drake, but at that point, it, it kind of didn't matter. He did. Uh, exactly his job, which was to drop the bomb from Dumor and, and just not allow them any entrance into the site. So now Orgla's going to be onto the save here. Looking like they're going to try and gear up towards the B bomb site. See if they're able to yield anything out of this. Here comes the push in initially. Tarek's going to turn his back, waiting for the flashbangs. Nobody checks him. He's able to line up one. Can he get the second? Yes, he will. Before Dumor finally takes him down. But Drossel is going to try and get in and get on that bomb plant. And Finesse doesn't wow. find it, does a ton of damage. But not quite enough, so now two more left alive, uses the smoke to reload. Gonna be over by the white van, should be getting flanked, and there it is. JDM comes in for the cleanup, and that will be all tied up 3-3 three to three now. With Orglis getting a bomb plant, so comfortable by, will be coming out. 
Yeah, yeah that's actually three rounds now that they've been able to get a, a, a bomb plant at three. Uh, I think three at the very least, but three rounds they were able to get a bomb plant. So they have been doing a decent job. And two of them were actually rounds that they lost. So uh, they've been doing a decent job of getting out to the bomb sites and progressing the rounds that far. It hasn't really just been CLG shutting things down before the rounds even develop. So. These Orgus players are, are, are not ready to, to roll over. They're still looking like they're a well-put-together team on T-Side Mirage. I'm not sure if that means they'll be able to earn that many more rounds than just the initial pistols, but it looks like they may be able to at least steal a few around from CLG. They've been cutting a, a lot of them pretty close. Oh, Haze again! Oh, man, I thought he was going to get way more than one. Ooh, uh, but JDM's right there. Same with Color. Color will grab two before he goes down, but Finesse will come in for the final trade. Not as Cutler with two. JDM gets in there. Same with Finesse and Hazed. But CLG now has the lead from CT side four to three. And what was looking like Orgulus was probably going to run away with this thing. Might not be looking that way again. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like maybe everyone in their hearts wanted to see Orgulus run away from it just because it would be a crazy thing to see. But I, I really, in the... And, and the pit of my stomach knew that at CLG was kind of just going to hit their stride once again once they got rifles in their hands and were able to play on CT side. Like, I still cannot fathom why you would want to give a team like CLG, even if you just beat them, CT side on Rush, when you have the opportunity to make them play team side first. It's just, it's the Orgos was playing so well on their own CT side of cash that it seems like a no brainer just to continue playing uh, the, the side of the map that was working for you. and. These uh, eco rounds for them have just not been working out for them. They got gunned down pretty much everywhere in that last round, and CLG is just finding their comfort, and they have a huge economy stacked up, including two players over 11K. Yeah, CLG looking on point right now. The cheapest or the lowest bank account that they got right now is Cutler with only 5,000, but he didn't really have to spend that much into that round, so they're going to be up by two. Score will be five to three. Let's see if CLG Gaming can keep this going, because if they can win out from this point, that's not a bad looking half from CT side at all. 12 to 3, and they're starting round number 9 off in that direction. Already Drossel and Stanislaw Law both down, so Orgulus is trying to start this from their back feet, and they still have a minute and 15 seconds left. Yeah, but with, as you say, that's still a minute and 15 seconds left on the clock, but in the time it took you to say that, two players for Orgulus just folding, so now it's an or what could devolve into an all-out manhunt for Doomor as he's about to peek right into Finesse here and will get taken down. It's just more rounds where CLG just hasn't even been challenged properly. Uh, like eight and nine were both rounds where they would keep five players alive. So no need to rebuy, just nades if they really want it. Maybe armor for players that got lit up and want to feel a little more comfortable having the 100 armor. But these are like pure profit rounds coming out for CLG and things are not yeah, going to no get rebuys. regardless any... Yeah, like, um, looks like Tarek spent $700, and that was the most expensive. Like, the, he, he spent the most money out of anyone on his team, so... Things are not going to get better for Orglis anytime soon. They had been finding a lot of success, they had been finding where the bomb sites were, but... It's getting to the point where cutting it close doesn't really mean much anymore, or it won't mean much in, say, two, three rounds when uh, if CLG can keep winning but you know CLG took a huge huge uh, first half lead on uh, cash and then fell apart after that so who's yeah, to say that true. can't happen again yeah maybe Orgulus is trying to trying to dissuade them a little bit but they definitely want to be able to pick up four to five rounds here uh, minimum as we're only going to have Drake left alive JDM gets two Cutler got the other two a fast mop up round once again in favor of CLG score will be seven to three and uh, CLG playing well here from the CT side. Haven't looked back since they were able to win that opening buy round. No, definitely not. Yeah, they've just been stringing them together and, and for the most part, making them look easy. But we're going to be seeing Invert breaking out the op here. He's not going to be going for a mid pick, so we don't get to see him go straight up against JDM. But perhaps... No, he's actually going to be going to the A bomb site, so he's not going to be able to challenge Tarek either. He'll be missing that first shot onto Cutler. Oh, he does find one onto Haze though. So Drake goes down to 14 HP to allow Invert to be able to make the shot on Haze. And they've taken the A bomb site. It's gonna be CLG trying to play the retake here. Let's see if they can make this happen and keep this going in their favor. And already Cutler takes down one. Finesse chimes in also. They're gonna be four on three in this retake. They have plenty of kits out. All they have to do is get another frag at this point. I think it just overload the bomb site, but JDM gotta be careful right there in the smoke. Will be Drossel. 
And he's able to escape in the jungle somehow as Finesse does take down Invert. So we're going to have three versus two where they know one one player from the T side's location. They know where Doomor's at, so he will escape for the time being. And that is going to make this a two on two. Time running out here. They got to force the issue. And it's going to be a body block coming out from Cutler. And no coming way. out from Tark. And no way. They don't hit him. He's so low on HP. Only eight left. And Doomor can't find it through the smoke. He has to be upset with that. That'll be eight to three, the best looking gun round so far from Orglis. Ends up getting diffused in the smoke by Cutler. Yeah, oh man, that's really unfortunate way to end up losing that round, but Draw also had such a great opportunity. I mean, the bomb was planted for him in jungle in such a way that he very easily could have covered it. He got a frag, was able to fall back to safety uh, once already. He he had stayed hidden for such a long time that he, he felt the need to peek out and make sure he wasn't getting pressed up on, and that makes absolute sense to me. But once he pushed up and saw that there wasn't anyone like close to him and the bomb was still planted for him, and he still could have just kind of played time with his buddy Doomor there. I'm really disappointed in his decision to peek out even wider and try to get a frag and kind of take all that glory instead of just staying hidden while he had the opportunity. Doomor so easily could have just kind of played that same game and ended up, you know, dying for the cause and allowed Drossel to come out and just clean up the, that last, you know, player that was going to go for the defuse. But instead, he just got so frag hungry and got punished for it. The opening frag of this round does go in favor of Orglis, though, as Finesse is down. He got aggressive, uh, ends up getting punished for that aggressiveness. But Orglis playing the slow spread out of very, very far here. Not trying to force the issue too much. They have plenty of time to work with. He's trying to figure out where they need to go, and Drossel is going to land right into the Molotov. Had to back up to get away. Let's see Orglis working the bomb down mid. There's going to be an off shot coming out from JDM. Yeah, he picks up the first one. He's looking down and under path. Will find Oof. another one out, and middle somehow gets the headshot there. Going to rotate over. Bomb's going to be down right out in front of jungle. So the fake that might have been coming out here from Drossel just completely blown up. He'll be one versus four. Can't even get the frag on the Tarek, and will go down. That'll be nine to three in favor of CLG. CLG string together. Yeah, actually nine rounds in a row. It's super easy to keep track of as Orlis this one. The uh, initial pistol rounds, and... Oh, man, I'm I'm still I'm kicking myself for them in, in that situation. I, I, that round did look so much like it was doing more fun, but Drossel so easily could have won that for them and just picked up a a round which would have been good enough. Maybe it would, if they lost the next round, the one that they ended up you know losing. But you know hindsight 2020, they would, could have had their economy reset. But either way, a, a round win is a round win. They're picking up a, a fourth from that would have been absolutely huge, and I, I really don't think they're gonna get many better opportunities than they just did on that round. I think for them, oh, Stanislaw getting shot a bit by his teammates there. Uh, I think CLG kind of had a, a moment of weakness there in the A-bomb site. They were able to seal it up luckily, and I, I really just don't see them making that mistake again. We're going to have Stanislaw trying to peek under the edge of the smoke here to see if he can find Hayes, and Hayes is in a tough spot. Does Hayes cross over in time to get away from it? Pop Flash comes out. Hayes knows there's one that's close. He's able to re-peek that, take down Stanislaw. And uh, get away with that peak Scott free so they have that one man advantage now. See if Hayes can turn this into two. Yes, he will before he goes down. But Cutler quick on the trade out frag as we lose Drake out in mid. So now it's all up to Invert at the ramp. He does have the bomb on his back. He'll be one versus four. And uh, Cutler steps out, peaks him, ends up hitting the shot. It'll be 10 to three now in favor of CLG. And while CLG is fragging their way to the top, I do want to point out, give a little uh, credit to Finesse here, who stepped up big time after uh, what was, uh, well, a, a dismal first game for him, where, uh, you know, even a few more frags from him could have made the difference between winning or losing. Stepped up big time in this game. is top fragging for his team now. So talk about going from zero to hero there and, and really stepping up for his team when they, they need it. I, I feel like he must have known that he was a burden to his team uh, initially on cash and for him to step up. It must be a huge sigh of relief for him. Uh, I, I can, I know that that feeling of being stressed out of you know, not fragging properly or how you feel you are capable of and to get back on uh, the frag train and keep the engine going just feels so, so good. So we're going to be seeing a four on four thus far into the round trade going back and forth, but Hayes is going to oh, be wow. bringing that back to CLG's favor. With Drake lit up down to 19 HP, they're also uh, holding mostly an HP advantage. Yeah, I mean, Hayes is down to 27. Here comes Drake. He peeks out. He gets one on the JDM, but Hayes, again, low HP, will find the shot that he needs inside the bomb site. Molotov will force him out a little wide. Does he go for the repeat? And he will. He hasn't been punished yet. Can we see Hayes get another ace tonight? Almost stops at four. 
And that will now be Drossel alone in the A bomb site. Blank will be coming from A main. Somehow he stays up for the time being. A main gets peaked by Finesse and he'll get the shot off. Easy defuse comes out for CLG as the score will be 11 to 3 as we work our way into the final round of this half. Yeah, we, uh, we saw Finesse bouncy back after it was a really bad first game, but Hayes just continues to be a, a monster, even though he was an absolute monster in the first game as well. There's no slowing this dude down. It, it doesn't even matter. You know, just now overtaking Finesse as the, the top fragger for his team. Just uh, huge stuff from him, shutting things down. Uh, at so many opportunities for them uh, when things could have gotten out of control. He's such a reliable player. You said, I think, in the beginning of the game, his consistency is what makes him so good. And, it's really showing through in this game, just consistently dominating for his team and, and proving why he's a, a, a premier rifler. And even saw with the alpha, saw him with some, some good op play as well over there on cash, albeit very briefly. Yeah, true, but he did shoot well. I think he had one round where he had a 4K with the op in his hands nonetheless. So, I, I mean, they're shooting really effectively right now. And uh, CLG definitely dominating this half, final round of it. Trying to make this a 12 to 3 in their favor, whereas Orgulus is trying to grab a fourth round just to secure themselves that little bit of safety net that they desperately want. So far, they aren't going to be working the clock down of what will be an eventual A take, but with JDM taking down Drossel in mid, their split is gone, and that's going to be removed from the round. It's actually finding a, a second frag for his trouble, and super blind, going to get punished, so. Things are, are really going back and forth here, but it's Tarek with the auto sniper that finally lends some stability to this round for CLG. Yeah, so now it's all going to be up to invert 1v2 with JDM with an op in his hands. Tarek with the auto sniper. JDM going to go on the peak. Easily hits the shot. Doesn't allow invert to get the bomb down. That'll be a 12 to 3 half in favor of a counter logic aiming. Now, what can they put together from the T side, though? Yeah, I mean, I, I imagine CLG is going to be well put together on their T side of Mirage. I mean, the question is, is Orglis going to win this pistol round? Because if they don't win this pistol round, then man, maybe they can try to eco their way They're out of the hole. They'll put it, yeah, they'll be on match point, and then, I mean, doesn't I guess they could string together 12th Street just like CLG did, but that just seems super unlikely at this point. Uh, um, are they, who, who was in charge of making that call to go T side first? That like that was not the right call. Like I guess the yeah. you know, the idea is like maybe like you know you got you got to risk it for the biscuit or whatever. Like hey, if we go T side first and have a really stellar T side, we could close this one out easily. But mm, I mean, they not the play. I'm I'm just gonna flag that right now as not the play. Yeah, generally when it's a CT side of map, you should pick the CT just side. Just pick but, it. Like there's a reason yeah. why everyone picks CT side. No, no one has ever unironically picked T side first. Like maybe if like. You like really confident being in the team, like, hey, we'll play T side first and you know try to play off our back foot. But like, I don't think anyone has ever gone against CLG and thought, hey, yeah, we should go T side first. We'll really clown on them. Like, yeah. I don't know what uh, the play is there. I I don't know what it is either. I'd be curious to find out afterwards. I'm definitely gonna hit stand up and be like, why did you pick T side of Mirage right off the bat when you had side choice? But maybe it's just because they know that their CT side is that good and that locked down that they don't expect CLG to pick up anything, so they just got it out of the way from T side as fast as they could, and they're just going to throw down here as CTs. It's possible. It was a high-risk, high-reward plan with Drossel finding two opening headshots for his team. It looks like it may not be an awful, awful, awful decision, though Tyra going to be responding with two of his own. So they're actually going to spot out where Stanislaw is if they want any oh, chance of the winning their round. The sight. Yeah, Stanis getting it done. Two frags for himself. That's going to leave Finesse as the last man standing. I have a big pistol on that Orglis is finally able to win. That must be a huge sigh of relief for them because I, mean, I still think that their decision was bad, but at least winning the pistol round kind of justified a little bit. Yeah, I, man, I still, I don't get why they did it. Still, I, I don't know. If they I come mean, back I, here, I'll be like, perfect, you guys the are only, as, as, far, as far as I'm concerned, right, if they win, then oh my god. As far as I'm concerned, the only rational explanation is high risk, high reward, it didn't work out for us. Right, like that's the only like if they try to say like oh like we we think we're better than them on this and that and then like okay, but like if like the only logic I can understand is hey we took a risk thought it could pay off it didn't it sucks, right like that's that's the only thing that would satisfy me yeah. I think. 
So now we're into round 17 here. CLG with the advantage gun, or excuse me, Orgless with the advantage gun-wise. Looking to try to mount that comeback, and they're holding on firm here at the B-bomb site. Only JDM left alive up in the apartments. He goes down, so now it's all up to Cutler. Last man standing. 36 HP does find himself a oh, rifle, but ends up going down. That'll be Orgless now grabbing a fifth round in their favor. Yeah, cut that one a, a little close, only keeping two rifles in their hands. But hey, at this point, round wins are round wins. And if no bomb plants in either of the two rounds, you know CLG is not going to be forced buying up themselves unless they are absolutely going for it. But no, they're, they're definitely not here. So there's going to be a, another potential easy cleanup round for Orglis here. But it's going to be uh, a lot of pressure put on Invert here, who has no rifle in his hands or no primary weapon of... Uh, to, to speak of really just the tech nine, which I guess when you really think about it is a, a primary, but it doesn't get classified that way. So still gun advantage coming out here from Orglis. It's going to be up to CLG to try to put together an eco round if they're able to. And it's upgraded pistols in their hands. And so far, it's not working out in that direction. We're actually having the rotate toward A. And where the final player at A is, that's going to be Stanislaw. Doesn't matter. Fast rotates come out from the rest of Orglis. And they're able to shut down at Counter Logic Gaming and not allow them to get in to that A bomb site. That'll be 12 to 6 now. And this buy round will be very telling here of what's going to happen. Crucial, crucial, crucial buy round coming out right here. And, you know, this is it. They, test number one was a pistol round, and they, they passed that with flying colors. So moving on to test number two, it's going to be rifle rounds here. And I think Invert's going to have his hands full here trying to beat JDM. But luckily for him, JDM not going to be bringing that off towards mid, at least not quite yet. More interested in trying to find a pick towards B, but he will be smoked off as well. So... He's going to have to look for some other options, as Invert himself does find a frag onto Cutler, so good way to start off the uh, round, the first gun round of the half. Yeah, definitely. That's going to be huge. Invert taking that frag down. They want to mount this comeback, and if we have almost a mirror image of what we saw uh, half, or game number one, this would be really rough. Tarek does answer, though, able to take down Stanislaw. He's going to be trying to make something happen here at that eight bomb site, but Invert right there drops the pop flash down, doesn't hit anybody. Finesse with the advantage will be able to get him, and Finesse strings it into two frags as Drossel's left in that eight bomb site. He goes down. Coming off catwalk will be Dumore, though. Dumore does find himself. And uh, let's see, Dumore 1v2 now. Bomb in that eight bomb site. It's going to get planted. Dumore in trouble here. Yeah, going to be a tough one for him to win. He's going to be trying to jump into window, which. Actually, not a terrible idea here. But I'm curious how it's going to pay off for him. Time is very much against him. If he wants to make this play happen, he's going to have to try to fish these terrorists out sooner rather than later. And there, I can't imagine them making a mistake of, of peeking him uh, like one at a time. I got to imagine if one takes an aggressive peek, they're either going to stay hidden or peek at the same time and put two crosshairs on him. But either way, it doesn't matter. Do more. Going to be able to grab an op and fall away. Hunt kind of going in his direction, but I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue here. Yeah, yeah that's they're not going to chase him. too far. So he's going to be able to come away with an op, but first rifle round not going in the way of Orglis, not passing test number two, as I put it. Yeah, Orglis struggling there on that buy round, so they're going to force buy here. And this could be really dangerous territory for them. If CLG wins this round off of a force buy from Orglis, that's going to put them at round 14. And then again, they should be going against an echoing Orglis at that point to put them on map points. But it's all going to be up to if CLG is able to make wow. this happen or not. And so far, it's going all in favor of Orglis until Cutler finally gets a frag. But it's going to be four on two now with a bomb down neutral location. And Orglis making the force buy happen, and it's working. Yeah, Drake partially responsible for Draw Soul's death right there, just really, really, really blocking him there, but doesn't matter because he's able to get the frag. Tarek, though, not rolling over, hitting a nice headshot onto Invert, so two on three, a take here coming out. Tarek and Finesse have to work together here. They need a pick anywhere where they can find it. Doesn't matter if it's Stannis or if it's this player right on the corner where I think is Drake. It is. They just need to kill someone here. But actually, they may know that they've pulled all the rotates, so they could rotate all the way away. But Orglis, like, totally with that, not being caught yeah. off guard by that at all. I guess they have to stay towards A in the event that it's a fake, but they have an unbelievable read on this. And Drake, I'm sure, is just a few seconds away from hearing this and calling his teammates over. Oh, there it is. He knows. Yep, he's going to get a huge flank off here if it's in time to catch Tarek, and it will be in time to catch Tarek. Paul, I'm going to go into the site. Finesse got to be careful. He's already got Stanislaw right in his face, and that will be Orglis picking up a seventh round now.
and they're going to be able to hard or reset the economy of counter logic gaming and that's rough yeah definitely i'm lose i would never recommend a team lo lose the first rifle round i never say hey throw this round away but if you're going to lose it after winning a pistol round winning round five crucial and they did just that they wanted exactly when they needed to that mid aggression was too much for clg to handle they weren't ready for it and they got punished because of it so now orbis still only six rounds back but taking a huge economic advantage here need to stay away from these pistols from clg but i think they should have an easy time there's no armor coming out from the clg player so even the silence m4 should mop up these frags so now into round 21 clg at the disadvantage here, but they're trying to make their way into this A bomb site. Invert will be able to take down the initial. Stannis Law is going to be right there to answer. They're still trying to get in. They need to get a bomb play here, get some extra cash going on, but they can't find a single frag, and that'll be three in favor of Invert, and we're at 13 to 8 now as Orglis is mounting a huge comeback once again. Yeah, Dumar has also stacked up a lot of cash, so he should be able to upgrade away from that famas and he's actually you're going to be using that money smartly to get invert the op and then invert's going to drop him an m4 so they are going to be getting rid of famas and all their players are going to come out with a uh, stronger weapons really good money management there invert gonna be playing that op from the back of a he actually got one tap by i believe it was Tarek who who one tapped him when he had the op last time but it, it didn't matter it was around they ultimately went on to win they being orgless so curious to see how he could use that op effectively, especially since he's going to be on the opposite side of the map as where the take is. Tarek just going to be running right through it, though, and bunny hopping right out the window. He could be a huge problem for Orgus right now, as they oh. sure have no idea that he's all the way through. I believe they at least do more, at least spotted him, but let's see if he can get some frags. He does take down Drake as Finesse was able to find one on Dumor. That grenade did so much. It's up to Tarek here. Can he keep this going? 1v2 knows one is going to be up near the arches all the way up towards that B-bomb site. Bomb down. Can he get Stannis? Lost Sprays does some damage. Steps out. Drossel takes him down. That's a ninth round now for Orglis. Yeah, and uh, it was one that they should have comfortably won, and I, I think they cut that one a little close, but once again, all is well that ends well. They need round wins, and I don't really think they care or we care how they come by them. Uh, I think the fact that they were able to deny the bomb plant is enough there f uh, for them to be satisfied, and they still were able to keep, what was it, two players alive, so uh, not, not a, a tremendous loss there. Drossel still going to be absolutely strapped up with cash, so you would be able to reimburse invert in the event that he needs a gun but wow tarot is getting absolutely ripped by grenades it's gonna be a two for one trade make that three for one trade in favor of the counter tires and just like that they're blowing wow. up this rifle round two yeah so finesse out in mid same with cutler trying to work their way up cutler might find a nice frag here on to drake mm. but he can't wrangle it in and drake takes him down so now finesse all by himself one versus four orglis if they grab this final frag right here they, which it looks like they should be able to unless Finesse can come up huge for his team. Drake's going to clear out mid, so they're going to think they're safe at least for the time being near mid. And Finesse will walk his way all the way up through the connector. Bomb down at the ramp, though. So if Finesse does Didn't find a single Dumor. frag. Yeah, if he finds a single frag here, he's going to be in trouble either way. Uh, as they're going to know exactly where he's at. Wow, walking he's around just with that AK. narrowly avoiding seeing Dumor. And he does it again. He just doesn't see Dumor. And he just pops right over his head, gets caught kind of from behind. I That's knew that was rough. gonna be a problem. He just every time Finesse looked in that direction, it was like, it, it was like in you know cartoons when there's like nudity on the screen and like various things cleverly come in the way to block it at the very last second from you seeing it. That's exactly what happened to Finesse and, and trying to find Doom. Or that every time he looked in that direction, it was like, oop, just the corner of this box is gonna be blocking him. Yep. Or you know he moves up close and on top of the E box stairs. Oh, he's gonna be right under you. And just so constantly out of uh, the view of the terrorist. So good unintentional play from Doom where they're uh, allowing his team to comfortably lock that one up. So Hayes will push his way up. Catwalk finds one. Same wow. with Finesse. They're blowing up this gun around here. They need to keep it going. Doom more and Drake will be inside the bomb sites. Drossel hits one, but Drake will go down. So it's up to Doom more inside. B to defend hits two right off the bat. Can he string together another one as JDM will force us into a two versus one in favor of CLG and, uh, Dumore going to be backing up now. He's going to think this is going to rotate towards A, and he's 100% correct in that thought process as Cutler runs away with the bomb. But Dumore, if he could come up and get both of these frags, that would be huge. That would put Orgulus only down by two rounds. Yeah, he has plenty of health and armor and firepower to win this one-on-two. The question is, can he win the mental battle of figuring out where he needs to be, when he needs to be? And so far, things aren't going exactly his way. 
Gambling towards B on the fake, not gonna go his way. Bomb being planted, doesn't even know it yet. He's going for that quick rotate over to A. He needs to kill JDM here, and he doesn't. Man, big pistol round here coming in from the terrorists. That's gonna uh, allow CLG to extend their lead now to four rounds. And uh, it's not gonna put Orkless on an eco though. So they could conceivably reset CLG's economy here once again. And then we could see that the same string of rounds. It's possible. It's going to be tough. It's going to be up to whether these players can get the opening frag and see what Invert is capable of here. Uh, and let's see if he can get a mid pick because there's going to be some presence there. This could easily be one of the biggest upsets, if not the biggest upset in a uh, uh, on CSGO Lounge on CSGO Lounge history because this is insane. 91 to 9%. I think I, we'd have to get with some of the people from CSGO Lounge, but this could be the biggest one ever, uh, which would be ridiculous just by odds-wise. And Hayes does find an opening frag, able to take down Drake. Let's see if Orgulus is able to answer here. And uh, do more does. He takes down Finesse, bombed down in the B-Halls, though. So Counter Logic Gaming has to be very careful here. Yeah, they are grouped up at the top of Cat, so they do have a lot of options here. It seems like they may be interested in a, a B split eventually as JDM is going to be finding the bomb, but Hayes only has 19 HP, so you have to play this one really well. And I don't even know if they know Doomor is around the corner, and I don't know if Doomor knows they are around the corner. He's actually not looking in the right direction. Still able to get a bunch of damage in. Gotta He's going to get chased down, but oh, he oh, so no. easily could have just shot his pistol and gotten that frag onto Hayes. Going to open up the B bombs. They put Invert in a lot of trouble here with that off. And just like that, CLG looks like they're going to be stringing two rounds together and potentially using this to close out the game as these counter terrorists are falling back into Palace for a save. Yeah, this is going to put them onto map point now. We take a peek at Orgulus Economy. They're bought out into this thing. They have they to. They need those rifles. They, yeah, they got to save these. But it doesn't look like CLG wants to push the issue, though. Doesn't really look like they're sending out too many feelers on the hunt here. Eh, a little bit more aggressive now, but they're, I think they're rethinking a little bit. They don't want to risk it and drop any more of their rifles. Because, again, their economy is not the greatest either. They're going to get a round win. They did get the bomb money from this. So they'll be decently set up here. But, I mean, Orglis going to be in trouble. They have to win every single round from here on out to force this into overtime to hope that they can win 2-0 tonight. Yeah, this is going to be a, a tough one for them to, to step up with. But I have to say, either way, regardless, I mean, if they can win five straight and push this to overtime, that would be absolutely crazy. But I really think taking a map off of CLG in cash, even though it was a real close one, was an absolute victory for them. And CLG just had an issue with closing out these, these games 2-0. So uh, they still uh, are unable to find themselves on solid footing and, and coming up with a solid win. But I, I think at least coming back and, and beating Orgos here is a huge one Ooh. for uh, the, their mental game. We already have Finesse and possibly the last round of this thing opening it up well. Able to take down Drake. Stanislaw goes all the way down to 17 HP. And Orgless very underpowered gun-wise. And Counter Logic Gaming trying not trying to not get too hoed tonight. And Stanislaw puts in his two cents. So can he get another one? Not able to make that happen. Cutler trades him out real fast. But here comes Invert Deagle. You need to hit those. Can he get JDM? Can't do it. And we actually have an answer from Drossel, though, before he gets traded out. So it's going to be up to do more. He does have the Deagle. He's going to have one player right around the corner in the smoke. That is going to be Finesse. He's able to pick up a rifle, gets the reload off, but that smoke is going to be fading pretty quick here. Can he get Finesse? He's able to take him down. Can he keep his team alive in this? I think he saw the head of Tark, so he's going to try and burn him out. And yeah, that Molotov will send Tark flying, but a good counter flash came out. And Tarek and Cutler will be into a two-on-one here against Dumor. Dumor doesn't know where they are. And cuts across the bomb site, somehow stays alive. Can he get these frags? Gotta be careful, Deagle comes out. Molotov lands at their feet, that could be horrendous. But no, Counter Logic Gaming somehow ends that thing. 16 to 10 victory over Orglis, and they go one for one tonight. Yeah, Molotov was actually really well, well used. It looked like it, it could have potentially been a mistake from the CT's perspective, who I was watching. Excuse me. Uh, but it, it did actually, the fire ended up spreading over the bomb. So had they gotten killed there miraculously, the, the fire would actually have been enough to stop the defuse. So even though they did actually have to throw it at their feet to make that happen, it still was a solid play in CLG coming through at the end and making that a 1-1 a, a push. But that, that was pretty scary. Uh, was, there was some pretty scary stuff there.